everybody, it is James, and this is my first video on this channel, so I've decided that I would make a little survival series for you guys. So this is going to be my first video, and for anyone that's ever played Minecraft before, you all know the first thing that I have to do, and it is get some wood. And I will get five pieces as that is, or three I mean, as that is what I'm going to need for my pick, uh, crafting table, and a little bit extra. So just right there, little crafting table, and just plop that down right there, get some sticks, and there we go with my pick. And let's get some stone immediately because this wooden pickaxe is absolutely trash. Now I'm going to get 13 so that I have enough for a pick and a furnace. So that if I get any food or iron, I am able to smelt it up a little bit. Oh, one more, I mean, sorry. There we go. Now. Let's get this so that we can throw this pickaxe away. Whoop. All right. Now, let's find that furnace. Right. So now I am... Oh, you know what? I'm going to get a little bit extra so that... Yeah. So that I can get an axe and a shovel. Just to make everything a little bit easier. Oh, I do need some extra sticks there. Yeah, I accidentally pressed that. Right, so let's grab the axe and the shovel. There we go, just enough. Let's reorganize this here. Let's set for the axe first, because that is what I will be using as my defense in case I encounter any further mobs. Alright. Oh no, and now I will be on my way. Let's just grab a couple of these fish for now. For a little bit of food in case I have a hard time finding any earlier. Right, three fish, that'll be fine for now. And let's just get a little bit extra. Let's get 16 in total. That will be one stack of wood. So I think we should time lapse this. I decided to get a little bit extra so that I can get two stacks just in case. Let's just put that in right now. Oh, it wasn't quite enough for two stacks. It was a little bit less. Um, let's just get the full stack in my hopper. All right. Now we will be on our way. So obviously the first thing that I need to do is see if I can find any entrances to any surface caves and gather up some food there that way I can get stuck there's a little surface cave and I will grab the sugar cane for later as it will be useful to be able to get some books and paper and fireworks even later than that so I think we should do another mining session with a little time lapse Okay, so we found a little bit of iron, as you can see here. I'm not sure if it'll be enough. I think, how much will I need? Hmm. Three for a pickaxe, and I will need 
Uh, you know what, let's get 12 iron. How much was that? That was only 5, so I will be back, back to the time lapse. Okay, so we didn't get any extra from that. Um, I will keep looking for any surface caves to get a little bit extra iron, but on the way, I will be gathering a little more resi resources, such as food. I just saw a, a cow, I think, a second ago. So I think I'm going to go that, and I will be right back. Again, another dud, so... Oh, there's a little fire going on in the background. Uh, but another dud, and I, as you can see, only have three hunger in my bar. So I am just going to go ahead and dig into this mountainside right here. It's not going to be my permanent home, but it will do for now. So I'm just going to dig one down so that I actually get underneath. And, um... You know, I don't really like dirt huts as a starter house. I mean, nobody likes dirt huts. But I prefer to just dig in, and it has a little bit extra security, no walls that you have to make, and you get resources. Obviously, not dirt isn't extremely helpful, but you get some resources. Let's just light this place up, and a place to stay for the night. So I'm just going to smelt this iron and fish up, and I will be back in a minute. So I have actually decided that I'm just going to make a little mine right here. I'm going to go straight down to y equals 11, and hopefully get some more iron and potentially even some diamonds. So I've just made myself a little iron pick right here. Just put that away for now. And I'm going to make... Um, four chests, so, um, two are going to stay up here, and then two are going to go right down to the bottom with me. Okay, I'm going to dig this staircase, and you know what, once again, I think we're going to time lapse this. Obviously, I'm going to go five down so that I can have enough for stairs and no head bumping, because we all know. That is a nightmare. This is a very flattering angle. All right. So, and it just happens that as soon as I got to Y11, there was a cave here, so that's convenient. So, um, at the moment, I haven't found a ton. I mean, some of, I found a bit more iron, 
but that's up in my furnaces up at the top. So, like we were talking about, I'm just going to put my two um, chests right there, and there's some iron, and as you might have seen, uh, there was some lapis and gold that I had found, along with some redstone here, and this lava here is quite helpful, because last time I made a survival world, I had, a, a surprisingly, a hard time finding obsidian, which is insane, because it's like the most one of the most easy things to find once you're at uh, the lower levels. So I am going to check back in once I'm going to do an hour-long mining session. And after that's done, I'm just going to show you the progress that I've made and uh, upgrade my stuff, Get hopefully get some diamond tools, get some enchantments, and then I'll see where we go from there. Or well, probably food after that. But yeah. All right, so I have just made my nether portal, and I'm about to go down there, and I'll tell you why. Um, and I made an enchanting table and an, and an anvil. I have got more than two stacks of iron, um, more than three stacks of redstone. Um, I found a drowned, and he gave me a trident and I've got all of this stuff. I already went to the nether, but I do have another mission that I have to go on, and I will tell you why. So I found lapis and diamonds, which is great, but I am gonna go, there are others that I found, but I'm gonna go get them once, I'm gonna go get them once I have got the fortune enchantment so that I can get some or good fortune and hopefully get and get much more than just one or hopefully three per I also made this auto smelter and decorated my little hole here so it's not gonna be that bad. Alright this is what I found a mob spawner and it's actually a spider spawner you can see that little guy going around there and that is why I'm about to go to the nether and get some magma blocks. Oh my god, this is laggy. To put along here, and then I'll put a hopper there along with a double chest. Go right. grab those magma blocks for my spawner. I've already been to the nether once, and I know where some are, so. Yeah, and if you're wondering what this little contraption is, it's quite simple, really. All you have to do is you um, you hit one of them, one of the pigmen, or usually you would do it with a bow, which I have now, which I did not have earlier. And you put some cobblestone right there, so they can't get in whatsoever. And then you just aim and you shoot one and they will all come running. Unfortunately, that is all the time that we have today. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.